I to give all praise and the glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing this word with truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopefully they believe us, the listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And um, what I want to get into today, you know, is pretty much, you know, the stage is being set for Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, all right, to show his power in the earth. You know, this is where we at, you know, within prophecy, as Esau Edom, you know, is on a um, <laughs> agenda to pretty much X out, you know, any form of righteousness in the earth, you know. And set himself up to be, all right, the most high and his technology as the savior. What we have to understand, man, this man doesn't want righteousness to exist. He doesn't want a righteous perspective in the earth, you know, and that's why we see, you know, he's uh, going hard body with his censorship and his censorship is really based on fact, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> based on people who come in with facts, you know, or any type of uh, uh, viewpoint or perspective, you know, that's against his wicked agenda, you know? That's why when you read Psalms 12 and 1, it says, it says, help Lord, all right, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful man fell from among the children of men. And this is this man's agenda, all right, to cause righteousness to cease. All right, because the scripture talk about how the truth, all right, is producing fruit. You know, has so long, you know, been without fruit is now flourishing. When you go to um, Second Edward six and twenty eight, you know, and he wants to stop their righteous fruit from flourishing, man. You know, he doesn't want any believers of Yahweh shot on earth, man. <laughs> you see, this is the the demand that we're dealing with. You go back to Herod, all right. Go back to all those different persecutions of the Christians. Going back to when, you know, Christianity was based on the followers of Yahweh shot, not this madness of today. But when you go to those Roman persecutions beginning with Nero, all right, these people do not want the believers of Yahweh shot to exist, man. This is where we're at within this man's society. You see, it says they speak vanity, everyone. All right, with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart, do they speak? And that's all we see in this man's news is flattering lips. You know, stimulus, new stimulus check coming soon. Uh, you know, the people that took the juice, you know, the, the numbers are down, and uh, uh, you know, we're gonna get back to normal, and you know, all these flattering things that he's saying, man. You know, we gonna, you know, the uh, uh, build back better. You see? But he's saying these things with a double tongue. He's making you feel that he's meaning one thing, but in reality, it's something completely different, man. You know, and what he's about to bring, try to bring to the earth, man. You people finna see, man. This man's true nature. Now, verse 3 says, The Lord, you have about Shemel Shai, shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speak of proud things yeah this man is always speaking about what he's about to do you know by this year i'm gonna be doing this by this year you know 2030 2028 we're gonna have you know that's a proud man you know he said the juice all right gives you better you know <laughs> immunity than natural immunity this man you know He's all over the place, man, but he's speaking very proud, all right? Boasting his 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 technology. He got the metaverse. That's a proud man. Here it is. This man is destroying, all right, the real earth, but then he going to create a fake one that's supposed to be so great, man. That's a proud-ass man. You see? Verse 4, it says, Who have said with our tongue, all right, we will prevail, our lips are our own who is lord over us and that's the energy of esau Enoch. 
he think that through lies and deception, he's gonna paint a false narrative where he wins, man. You know? He say his thoughts are his own. He think he's doing his own thing. He thinks that he has a, a plan that's formulated to uh, overcome what's written. This is how this man is moving. He thinks he has everything figured out. Like he gonna counter, all right, the prophecies of Yahweh by Shimei You know, this man is up for a huge failure, man. You see, <laughs> who is Lord over? Verse, verse 5 it said for the oppression of the poor for the sighing of the needy that's the hope for a lick you know that, that's, that's the hope for a lick man because we're in need of a salvation to be delivered from this man we're sighing within this man's society man like the scriptures say you know um, Ezekiel put a mark alright which is a spiritual mark the Thawah that exemption from judgment on the foreheads of those that what sigh and cry. All right. And speaking of the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever they be, man, whom the Lord is going to rise to the occasion. All right, for the believers, man. Yeah, how about Shema Shah is about to rise to the occasion for the believers, man. And we have to understand the time that we in. That's why. You know, we should constantly, constantly, all right, be in the spirit of hasting to get the hell away from this place, man. Hasten for this place to be destroyed, man. All right? Ain't nothing here for us, man. This thing is, 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 this thing is played out, man. We just, the only thing that, that, that we have to look forward to is the destruction and the salvation, man. That's the only thing really look forward to, man. Everything else is, is, is through, man. You know, we just here, all right, passing time, man. But the, the, I, I hope, you know, should be in the destruction and the salvation of this place, man. It says, reading verse 5 again, it says, For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now will I arise, said the Lord Yahweh, I will set him in safety, from him that puffeth at him. You see that? Now is the Lord about to rise, man. This is the time we in. You know, we should be on fire. We should be, you know, uh, 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 excited to be more obedient. All right? To detach more from this place, man. We should be excited about what our power is going to do to this wicked society, man. These wicked people, man. These elites, man. These people finna go into slavery, man. America finna be blew off the map. The stage is set for it. You know, we here. It's just a thing about <laughs> win, man. And as we see, this man is constantly going to the next phase of his agenda. More wicked decrees and, you know, more wicked, you know, mandates. All right? We know that the time is not. So, Lord, will you, brothers, and you few sisters, edify till next time I say, Shalom, Pomyasha, Allah, Baba, Baal, DTA, soon.